your grace is as good as mine. How do I feel when my wife is happy? You just had her a couple of minutes ago that she's happy. When your wife is happy, when the heart of your heart is happy, when the bone of your bone is happy, hmm? what happens to you? You are equally happy. When you make a woman happy, you made a nation happy. So I'm happy and I pray for a happier returns, many happier returns of this day in the land of the living, a good health and a wealth. Yeah, it's a dream come true. I feel good. I feel great. Because it has always been my dream. I've always been singing it like a song. That when I am 60, I want to make noise. I want to, I'm not the, when I say I want to make noise, I still want to make noise under the umbrella of Christ, glorify him. But I want the whole world to just gather everybody that appreciates me, gather to appreciate God in my life. I want, I've been telling people, I want people to celebrate me. I want to be celebrated and that I'm going to celebrate myself. And thank God I've been able to do that today. So I'm very happy. First of all, my vision goes to God Almighty, our Creator, who made our path cross. It was uh, 40 years ago, 1981, 82 precisely, when I met her as a young, decent, beautiful girl. And I tested her for six years, contacted her for six years. And when I was satisfied that she's a wife material, I led her to the altar and legally got married to her. Then she became my legal wife. That same year, I made her a mother. She became the mother of Adeolu, my fourth son. Not too long after, I increased her a lot. You know, gave her a daughter again. Now Miss Adela yet, the registered dietitian. And did not work. I didn't waste time again. I gave her the third one, the third boy, and that's the idea. Yeah. So by so doing, I made her a mother. I now left her how to become a grandmother. Fortunately, I've also increased her, her this thing on her, her stock. She's now a grandmother. Not only one, two. And I know they are just started. God is going to enlarge her course and enlarge our course and make us a happier family. First of all, I want to appreciate God Almighty. I want to give him all glory, honor, and adoration. We are celebrating today because it's, the program is his program. So I give him all glory. I want to appreciate everybody that gathered online today. Some of them, if I don't, I may even say most of them, I don't know them. But despite that, they all gathered to celebrate me. I want to thank God for their life and I want to say a very, very big thank you to all of them. Now I want to bring it down to my family. I want to say a big thank you to my husband, Barisa Oluadenodi. 
I want to appreciate that man. He's just too, too much. He's so special. He's so special. I want to thank him for the money spent, for his time, for, for, for being there for me, for, for true love and everything, all his efforts. I want to appreciate my children. I want to appreciate Ade Oluwa, uh, far away in Canada. They have been monitoring things and they have been part of everything here despite the distance. I want to appreciate Adeola. I want to appreciate Adewale. They are, these are all my children, Ade Ayo. I want to appreciate my grandchildren, full of joy, jumping up and down, celebrating grandma's uh, birthday. I want to appreciate my siblings. I want to appreciate all of them, starting from Dr. Laiji Day, um, Dickiness uh, Alaya Day, um, Evangelist uh, Ulufisayo Aditsimei, uh, Pastor Wale Olaji Day, and C. Joanne, my role model. Yes, that woman is my role model. I want to appreciate her. I want to appreciate Boralari. Uh, Boralari was the first person that gave me gifts about four months or three months ago. I learned he gave, and she said he dropped something for me while he was leaving. I said, wow. So she, he opened the whole celebration. I want to appreciate my sister, um, Rosalind Babatunde in the UK. I want to tell them that I love all of them. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, oh, the God has made it possible. Yeah, after God, of course, God has provided us the children. The children have been very wonderful. What we have been able to achieve today now has been largely to the support of the children financially. They've been wonderful. They've carried most of the expense of this birthday, you know. 
and uh, far away Canada. I wish they did only the first one. They all are her husband, and they all are their grandchildren. And my in laws, beautiful, your lady like family, wonderful people, you know, lovely people, lovely in law. What could I wish for a better in law? So we appreciate them and we appreciate the community, the school community, that's Egan, the parents and the students of Wisdom Spring, the teachers, you know, everybody in that community, they are wonderful. They've given us support for over 20 years now that we set our foot on that land. We've enjoyed their support and uh, we continue to crave more for them, from them, so that uh, in our vision, our mission for that school can be achieved. You know, we appreciate them a lot. And then we, those who have helped to shape the life of my wife, that's the Christian community. We are trained at ETBC. That's our mother and the Lord, that's the one that trained her and was able to subdue some of the negative attributes that she had, especially as a human being. Nobody is perfect. But through the help of God, as well as some men and women of God, we were able to help her develop spiritually. We were able to suppress some of our negative uh, sides of life. You know, and particularly we were very born, very born in the Anglican communion. I can't remember his name now. It was the, through him that he gave his life to Christ. Before he followed up with ETBC, where he became um, a pastor and started teaching the Word of God. She has never looked back since then. We thank them, those who have helped us spiritually, develop her. Church of God up to now. We appreciate the vicar of St. Luke's Anglican Church. Previous vicars, where they go, there's so many. We thank for those who have tried to shape our life and by implication, the shape the life of this family, especially my own wife and my own life. Because if the life of your wife is stable and is good and is peaceful, happy, it will definitely reflect on the husband and the entire family, the children. So we agree to them. We agree with the entire crew, the alliance is. You know, the families, we regard them. We remember the Olaji days. Uh, that is Bra Fisayo. Olaji day, the shepherd. Remember uh, Wali Olaji day, his wife, his family, beautiful one, you know. Remember um, the last one, Roslyn. All uh, members of my in laws' family were good. And all the people that, there are two numerals to, to, to recount here. The people that they have blessed us with, and my own side, my family, far I didn't know the lineage. They've been so wonderful, they've accepted my wife. Yeah, she's not perfect. When you are bringing a woman to a house affair, you know what it means? There will be some uh, obstacles, there will be jealousy, there will be a lot of things. But all this she has been able to support through the help of God. They've been able to accept her and they love her, just like I do. So. My family members, the immediate, uh, I remember Professor Adigoke, you know, he's contributed a lot to my life. I can't forget him. He meant a lot to me. What I am today played a very big role in my life, you know, because it's also my birthday. It's not only my wife's birthday, remember? I'm also celebrating my wife, my sister, plus, even though I'm older than her by some few weeks. But I thought she can do about that, you know. And Reda is an elder, you know. And we have a, a unique a lock of always having our body close to, to each other. And that's why you see me doing my own in areas while she's doing her own in fact, you know. But we're all both happy together. And uh, we pray that we live happily together thereafter. Thank everybody contributed to this uh, to the success of this occasion. I will pray that God will continue to be with everybody. Those who have brought that money to spend for us, God will replenish it in one million fold for them. Will enlarge their course and guide against them, everybody against this pandemic. You can see the effect of this virus. You can imagine if there is no pandemic dropping the whole world, driving the whole world. You can see the generation will have been more but in any way. We're able to take all these challenges and we're able to take the opportunities. The challenges of the COVID-19 has been turned into a lot of opportunities for us. And we've been able to successfully convert it. Imagine everybody, US, London, Canada, 
Nigeria converging together, you know, to celebrate uh, my wife and by vacation myself. So we appreciate everybody and ask God to bless every one of us. Everyone that has contributed to the success of this occasion. They too shall live to witness happier moments like this in their life. In Jesus' name. They also bring that the appreciation down to my nephews and my nieces. They are wonderful. They package all the things. They form a committee and uh, they did a lot of beautiful things. I want to thank God for the life of uh, Pastor Tolu Lokwe and the, and the wife. I want to thank God for Okwe Uluwa. That's uh, the male. We have two Okwe in Olaide family. Those, those people are the part of the committee. And um, I want to thank God for um, Okwe Uluwa female. I want to thank God for Gwen Gade Those people, those ones are part of the committee. I want to thank God for everybody, all my nephews and my nieces. I want to say cousins all over the world, the Adetime Babson children. Then I want to then come down to my staff, my, my staff, my wonderful staff, my own children given to me by God. I want to thank all of them. I don't want to mention them. I just want to thank them, thank them because they all came together to make this program a success. I want to appreciate my parents, wonderful parents. If we allow them, we will not live today because everybody would like to talk. Ex-students, I want to say kudos to you. I want to thank my current students. I want to thank everybody in the Wizard Spring family. I want to say thank you, uh, school owners, co-school owners, El Cristasta Popaito, that's a um, Pastor Yeleye, I want to thank Mrs. Oje Wale. Oje, Oje Dele, yes, Mr. Oje Dele. I want to thank Mrs. Um, that's uh, the, 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 the proprietress of um, Emma Grace. I want to appreciate also my own dear sister, my French childhood friend. We have been together for over 40 years, Mrs. Stella Shile Ola Olua. Ola Oye the proprietors of Unity, and, the, and my brother, Bob Stone. I want to thank all of you. These people are school owners. I want to thank friends and family, Elijah Balogun. I want to thank uh, Pastor Duru. I want to thank even those ex-students that we have not been able to showcase, all the people that gathered the send-down videos that we have not been able to showcase. Well, we couldn't uh, um, um, showcase more than even up to half of the video we have. I want to say thank you to all my church members, St. Luke's Anglican Church, my vicar, Venerable, Venerable Ogudile KK. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank my father in the Lord, uh, Venerable Adegoye, my former vicar. I want to thank everybody that God has used to make today a success. I want to appreciate them. Even my workers, domestic workers, I want to say thank you to uh, Felicia, my very good cook. I want to thank my children, my wonderful children. I want to thank Mrs. Akita Yo, the, the lady that surprised me early in the morning today. Uluwatsoyi Akita Yo, I want to say a big thank you to you. Now I want to thank my own old teacher, my father in the Lord, and my mother in the Lord. Dr. Reverend and Reverend Mrs. Aki one day. I want to say a big thank you to you. They are in Maryland, US. I want to thank Super, Super, Super. I you, my sister, my lovely sister. I want to say thank you to you. Thank you, boss, in Michigan, USA. I want to say a big thank you. I thank all my in-laws. They are know this. Wonderful in-laws. I want to say a big thank you to all the Adenodis, Robert Adenodis, and all those ones here in Nigeria, all the Adenodis, all of you, I say thank you to you. I want to say a big thank you to my brother in the UK also, that's uh, um, Philip Alayade. I thank you, I love that rhythm you gave to me. I just love it. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you. You are all wonderful. Thank you. So just to mention you, I don't know. 
please, if I've forgotten anybody, you just have to forgive me. I love everybody, and I say thank you to everybody. Yes, Dr. Yamika Ode is my God on earth. I want to say a very big thank you to him. He played a very, very prominent role in my life. That gave me a, that's, that's, it's, it's a, it brought about a particular day I will never, never forget. So Dr. Yemi Kayode, thank you very much, sir. The Lord will bless you. Auntie Joanne, Auntie Joanne, you are an in-law, but I thank you so much because you are my mother. You are a sister from another woman. I thank you very much. I want to thank the audience, the layers. My children that God has given to me through another woman, they are the layers. They are my in-laws, yes. If you want to go by um, paper and book, but they are my children. I want to thank Tunde. When I saw you on the screen today, I said, wow, Tunde. I want to thank Adetum. I don't want to thank Abiola and the family, Baba Beji. Ah, I want to thank, uh, 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 um, I want to thank the last one of the Adela years. I call her my baby, Boom Boom. I call her Boom Boom. Boom Boom, I thank you. Adela years, I love you. And I will love you, I will love you, I will love you. As, I, as I'm living, I will love you. You are not my in-laws. I have adopted you already. And you will remain my children. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you have 60, but let me take three out of the 60. Her love of God, her fear of God, you know? And this is the secret I want to hold. The second one is her respect for, for me, you know? And that's where the secret of her success lies. When you respect your head and you pray for your head, then you will be well with you. Whatever you lay your hands on, prosper. There's no doubt about that. Whether you pay as I offer directly or indirectly, the blessings of God will fall upon you because God has endowed the headship of a man. That's a secret. If you have God and high love and respect for me and my family and for all that I stand for, I said greatly. And the third one is a hard, versatile self. You can see she's very versatile, she can amend, she can change. Quickly, I don't want to go into history. You know where I took her from. You know, we had a, an understanding that uh, he was from a celestial background, you know, CS background, and how to convert that to an Anglican. I remember the day I told her she's going to become an Anglican member. So when in church, I just had to go and change. Well, let's listen. We have to do your baptism in Anglican. Say, wow, that's not our agreement. But again, I remember my mother-in-law at this hour, who prepared her very well for this evening. 
Ekolani Olajide, may her soul continue to rest in peace. And you have a rest in the bosom of the Lord for her sins. She prepared her for this task and she has not looked back. Ability to change to adapt to a virtue. And she's a virtuous woman, too. And this has combined very well to make her what she is today. This has helped a lot of people to submit her all over the world. This has made her to take that school to the level that you are taking it to. We are all listening to testimonies from all over the world, from different people, students, ex-students, teachers. All those comments are not fake, I must tell you. They are real and genuine. And they go to the fact of the issue. Because she's, then what she has said about her is what she is. And that's what she can be. That's what she truly really is. So all these have combined very well to make her a good person that she is, a good wife that she is, a good mother that she is, a good grandmother that she is today. The good proprietors that she is, you know, and on and on and on. If not, they can call you, can dog them for patrol.
just is one advice pregnant and loaded I want to advise everybody because I have tested this and it's worked for me and it's still working for me. The only advice I will give to everybody in the world is that let God be in charge of your life. Where he's in charge, his presence is there. And anywhere his presence is, nothing negative comes near. Nothing negative will come near it. Everything you lay hand on shall be success, successful. You rear children under his umbrella, you will enjoy it. You walk, because when God is in charge of your life, your heavens will open. And everything you do, you do it under an open heaven. And when your heaven is open, go and rest. Everything is at peace. That's just the advice. <laughs>